up to now we will see the first unit syllabus for the signal and systems and entire syllabus we have to divide it into the subdivided topics now let's move on to the what will be the important textbooks for the signal and systems so next we the important textbooks for signals and systems the first important textbook for the signal and systems for a competitive examination point of view that will be the allen v oppenheim so this will be the textbook i generally followed this textbook whatever i thought in this video lectures most based on this textbook only so follow this textbook important textbook be the signals and systems by allen v oppenheim allen v oppenheim so the most important thing for this textbook is whatever the end if you want to complete the first unit in the end there will be an problems will be there that problems will be so important for your examination point of view directly that type of questions they will be asked in the gate as well as the competitive examination point of view so here in this textbook important be the chapter end problems chapter end problems is very very important in this textbook generally most of the staff has to be prepared for the signal systems generally preferred this openham textbook and next if you want if you have practiced enough number of problems in this allen v openham then also you can't get a, have satisfaction to the sufficient amount of problems will be covered or not then you have to follow the signal systems by the shams outline signals and systems by shams outline here in this textbook there will be plenty of problems will be there for your examination point of view to cover each and every problem in detail first try the this textbook problems and next try this textbook problems that will be more sufficient to you why because here in this textbook there will be an uh, a end unit there will be just like an above 50 to 100 problems will be there so my highly preferred textbooks for concept for concept this textbook is important for problems this textbook is important and the textbook will be like this I have just like an uh, some sort of copy the textbook will be like this shams outline okay there will be an pdf copy will be there in the internet you can easily search with it this textbook and the next important textbook be the and now we have to try to write the some reference textbooks what will be the reference textbooks will be there let's see reference textbooks the first reference textbooks be the signal systems by simon hacking this textbook will be important for a the reference point of view that will be the simon hacking textbook and uh, 
two units will be remaining that will be the Laplace transform as well as the jet transform up to the like uh, basic signal and systems that means classifications of the signals and as well as the linear time invariant signals and uh, next Fourier series as well as the Fourier transform these textbooks will be enough okay next for Z transform or Laplace transform first of all you have to see for Laplace transform the textbook be the BP Lati for Laplace transform BP Lati textbook is enough for you and next for Z transform for Z transform Nagur Kani textbook will be there that will be enough for you so this was the important textbooks for the signal systems point of view next in the next class we will try to solve what will be the basic uh, classification of signals and what will be the definition for the signal systems and important applications for the signal and systems thank you